Hello and welcome to Open Logic. In this video, we're going to look at flyby topology in DRAM. And this is a memory module. In order to access its memory space, for example, if we want to write data to it, we need to send an instruction first. Once it receives an instruction, it is time to carry out certain process. For example, it would decode the instruction address, open up a row, and load the row data onto sense amplifiers. Only after that, we can start to write data into the memory. Knowing the timing on how the memory processes the instruction is very important because if we provide the data too soon, the memory will miss the data. Or if we provide the data too late, then the memory is operating at a lower transfer rate. Once the memory is ready, we can start to send data. Previously, we have learned that the data that we send to the memory module is split into smaller pieces depending on the number of memory chips and the data width of each of the chip. Now, following the same logic, the instruction needs to be distributed to each of the memory chip as well. And this generally has a problem because every memory chip could receive the instruction at a different timing. For the technology prior to DDR3, Instruction is routed to memory chips using a topology known as T-topology. The idea is that an instruction is duplicated through the splitting of the route, and every route has an equal distance. And because of that, an instruction can reach to every memory chip pretty much at the same time. Now, this T-topology is not foolproof. For one, it is not easy to create an equal distance for every route. And it becomes more challenging as transfer rate requirement is getting higher, where even the slightest delay is critical. Another issue is that a memory module can have multiple ranks, either at the back of the memory module or at a different memory module from a different memory slot. Since every rank share the same channel, they all will receive the same instruction, even though the instruction is meant for only one of the rank. For the chosen rank, the instruction is loaded into the memory chips. For the other ranks, the instruction will arrive at the memory chip and be terminated there. And this termination will cause the signal to be reflected back. Now, this reflection can cause signal integrity issue, because the reflected signal can interfere with incoming instruction. Because of all this issue, starting from DDR3 onwards, a different topology is used. It is known as flyby topology. This is generally how it looks like. As you can see, the routing is simpler. At the end of the connection, there is one termination there where it has a load with a matching impedance of the circuitry. So if an instruction arrives to the memory chips where it is not meant for this rank, the signal will be absorbed by the load at this termination point here. And this is to reduce signal reflection and it can improve signal integrity of the instructions. Now having said that, despite of all these advantages, flyby topology has another issue, which is to handle the timing between the instruction and the data. And previously, every memory chip received an instruction at the same time. After a certain amount of delay, the data is transferred. Even though the data is split into smaller pieces, every piece is transferred using the same timing delay. But for flyby topology, an instruction travels through the memory chips one by one. This memory chip would receive the instruction first, and this memory chip will receive it last. And because of that, we need to send the data piece by piece at a different timing delay. This seems to add complication, but generally, signal integrity has a higher priority compared to sequencing of the data. So now, for memory controller, when it sends an instruction to the memory module, it needs to know the timing of the instruction received for every memory chip. It can figure out this timing by going through a training call write leveling. We will discuss about that in future video. Well, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. I hope you find the video helpful. Do help supporting by clicking like, share, and subscribe.